What is up heroes and welcome to my top 5 ROM hacks of 2019. I'm going to be sharing with you my favourite ROM hacks that I played this year. That doesn't mean they were released this year. It could be an old ROM hack from 2009 or it could be one that had an update this year. Anything can go really. So as always the link to these games will be in the description down below. So please do go check them out. With all that said, let's get into this list. Starting off this top 5, we have Pokemon Nameless. From the creator of Victory Fire, Resolute, and Mega Power, we have a roller coaster adventure with lots of twists and turns, which will have you guessing at every event. You play as a girl called Kronya, who 12 years ago gets attacked by the Dark Workers. After escaping from the Dark Workers, you're trained to become a warrior, which is the beginning of her story. Throughout the game, you'll learn new skills like diving underwater, swimming up waterfalls, pushing boulders, cutting trees. Basically, Kronya becomes a human HM machine. So don't have to worry about teaching any of your Pokemon HMs, so that's really nice. Uh, also, Generation 8 Pokemon are included in this game, which I found super exciting because I get to use a bunch of new Pokemon. And very surprising since Sword and Shield has been out just over a month. And on my team I had a Rylaboom and near the end of it I had a Sobble. It was just kind of crazy to see, you know, Generation 8 Pokemon in a Generation 3 ROM hack. is just, it was so awesome but crazy. Uh, in case you're wondering, uh, this game is part of the same universe as the previous games. It's set after Resolute and before Mega Power. But currently at the time of making this uh, list, Nameless has been completed. But I only finished the main story and the first part of the post game. So um, I can't comment on the last part of the game, but from the first two betas, the game was actually pretty fun. I, I felt the story kind of just ended abruptly, but knowing it continues into Mega Power, and like obviously I experienced that story before, I, I felt like it made it a little bit better. Uh, some points were kind of hard to understand, but like all the games in this series, the English isn't the best, but it's good enough to kind of get an understanding of what's going on overall. There's some bits you're like, okay, that didn't really make too much sense. But overall, I did enjoy this game. Some bits were pretty hard, um, like some trainers with Mega Revolution were incredibly difficult. But I'm happy to see another game in this long series of games by the creator, and I hope we uh, get to see many more in the future. Up next for number 4, we have Pokemon Sky Twilight. In Sky Twilight, Noivern is one of the most rarest Pokemon in the region, which has been kidnapped by Team Voltage. Which, by the way, I think is a really awesome name for an evil team. But you begin your adventure off like any other Pokemon game, trying to be the best trainer you can be, making your way through town to town, collecting badges, and eventually defeating the Elite Four, while also trying your best to stop Team Voltage on the way. Playing through this game was very fun, however, it felt very short. But it was short and sweet at least. One of the most memorable parts of this game to me were the custom Megas in the game. All the Megas in this game I really loved. I especially loved Mega Porygon and Mega Gudra. I thought they looked so awesome, man. Just wish, made me wish they were really real. The game also has a custom Mega Zora. And you know, if my, uh, you know, my favorite Pokemon gets some love, that's going to be a thumbs up from me. Another cool feature about this game is they introduced a new type, Sound Type, which I think is very fitting considering the game's mascot is Noiburn. Honestly, it makes me wish Sound Typing was a real typing considering the amount of sound based Pokemon we have in the series. But anyway, <laughs> I thought it was very fitting how Team Voltage were forcing Pokemon to Mega Evolve and they end up having some very sweet Megas which just complement their teams so well, making them just seem so powerful and just... I, I don't want to spoil too much about Team Voltage, but I thought they were a pretty cool evil team in the game. Uh, currently, the game's main story is completed up to a champion. There's no post-game at the moment, but hopefully we'll see one one day. But this game, I thought, was very awesome really cool for a series like to do and I just think you can pre finish this game maybe one or two sittings. It was short but it was short and sweet at least. For number three we have Pokemon Canlara Ultimate. Funny story about this game, I started Canlara Adventures which was kind of like the version before Ultimate. It, I was really enjoying the game, you know I just pre-recorded like five episodes in one day because I was just really enjoying it. Then the, the day I uploaded part one the game got updated to Kenlara Ultimate. <laughs> I was just like, oh man, that, that kind of sucks. But I just had to put it out there because I thought it was kind of funny. But anyway, in Kenlara, the region is under attack by Team Rocket. And they're gaining a lot of power and it's up to you to stop them. Kenlara is a very fun game. However, it gets a little frustrating at times because you're not really sure where to go. 
I'm not gonna lie, I, I kind of liked it a little bit though, just struggling on where, where to know where to go, so you get to do a lot of exploring. But if you are struggling that much, you can always check the game's uh, forum page because the creator left an FAQ to tell you, you know, some certain things where people are asking where to go. Or you can just check my, my playthrough of it because I, you know, I went through the right way. But be prepared for a bit of a challenge because the game can get quite difficult, especially the league. I'm not going to spoil who or what, but they have some very powerful Pokemon and it's, uh, it's, it's quite hard. Uh, one epic feature in this game is the demon Pokemon. They look pretty cool, uh, they have their own typings and moves, and they are actually kind of strong. Uh, Kenlara is actually complete right now if you want to play for a completed ROM hack. Uh, has a little bit of post game, it's quite short, not as short as Sky Twilight, but again I think you could probably finish this game in maybe one to two sittings. But the story is actually pretty epic and um, I don't want to spoil too much because it involves quite a few legendaries, but it's actually, it, it's pretty epic man, it's pretty epic. So coming in at number two, we have a game that I think I've put on the list like every year and that is Pokemon Adventures Red Chapter. Start of the year we got the first update with the Orange Archipelago and this game is it's just too good. It really is. I think the creator could easily just like copy and paste the manga into a game and make it great. But they go that step further and add amazing side quests, added like new plot points, new Pokemon forms. And it's just like, even like new Pokemon as well, it's just, the game looks amazing, the art is fantastic. Like I love when like your character speaks and like obviously the um, the art comes up next to the text box. I, I love that in games and this game does a very good job with that. Like I don't think I have to even try and sell this game to anyone, like I think everyone knows Red Chapter. It's got a great reputation for being a really amazing ROM hack. It's just, I, I can't really say too much. I hope the Arc Orange Archipelago gets finished soon. I know it's currently being worked on. So hopefully it will come out in 2020, and if it does, Pokemon Adventures Red Chapter, um, I'll see you on my top 5 for 2020 then. <laughs> so before we get to number 1, I thought we'd do a quick honourable mention, and that is Pokemon Dark Fire. This ROM hack is in its first beta, and it's very short, but it's amazing. It has a very, very interesting story, very well designed region and characters, Honestly, I hope this game doesn't update in 2020 because it's so fun and this is something to look out for because this is going to be up there with one of the best ROM hacks. You can just tell that from the first like, I don't know how long the game is, like 30 minutes to 40 minutes. It's not very long but you can just tell it's going to be just so epic. So on to number one. My favourite ROM hack of 2019 is Pokemon Saffron. This game is currently 6 gyms long, has a very interesting well written story features Generation 8 Pokemon, new forms, a bunch of side quests, and hidden secrets. It's just, it's great to go and explore and do things outside the post game, and this game does a really good job of that. But this game is the game to watch right now. I get the same feeling I get when I played Gaia, and then it just, it feels like an official Pokemon game. I honestly think if this game was released by Game Freak alongside, you know, during the, the Game Boy Advance era of like Fire Red, Leaf Green, Ruby Sapphire, Emerald, it could easily pass off as a game to stand with them and even like pretty, I actually I'd rate that above them games to be honest. I just have very high hopes for this game, but getting to the plot, uh, so the plot of the game is you begin your Pokemon adventure during the migration event, where lots of Pokemon are traveling across the globe, so the region is packed full of different Pokemon from many different regions. Also many people come to the region to, to see the event, and the gyms are occupied by trainers from other regions, so you might see a gym leader from Hoenn as a gym leader, or you might see one from Kanto, and it's just, it's really cool to see like who the gym is going to be in each town but while traveling the Azira region you come across Team Rocket and they're up to no good as always um, so you're going to try to put a stop to them I won't get into too much detail I don't want to spoil too much but I honestly think when this game is complete it could become one of the greatest ROM hacks of all times <laughs> honestly I have very high hopes for this game I think it is something everyone should look out for and everyone should play like it's just it's so good it's like only six gyms in and I honestly think it's one of the best ROM hacks I've played it's just it's just so good I don't want to spoil too much stuff but honestly there's so much content in this game outside of just going oh here just go to this town get a gym badge go to the next town gym badge oh let's have a fight with you know the evil team there's so much more stuff to do in this game and that's what I love about it it's just it's so interesting it's great to explore the region and that is why Pokemon Saffron is my number one ROM hack of 2019. 
So there we have it, my top five ROM hacks of 2019. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Do check out all the games and let me know what you think of them. Also, let me know in the comments down below what has been your favorite ROM hack of 2019. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.